Happy 30th anniversary to the kickoff of the Human Genome Project back in 1990. I don't actually remember when this project was first started because I was in elementary school at the time. But when I was in high school, I got to go to a talk where someone had discussed what would happen once the project was finished. And for me, this really started my interest in human genetics because I believe that once we had this map, we'd be able to apply it to different areas of medicine and be able to better predict who might get sick with different types of diseases and to better predict what medicines some person might respond well to if they happen to get sick and that it would be an important part of future medicine. So even though the project wasn't finished, I decided to get a degree in human genetics and started along that path and was fortunate enough that the project was finished and we did get a good draft version of the human genome. And it's amazing how far things have come in the last 30 years. We had a project that initially started that took more than a decade and a couple of billion dollars to get one draft of the human genome. And now as part of normal clinical care, a doctor can order human genome sequencing or human exome sequencing to help diagnose patients. It's gone very quickly, and I'm amazed at where we've come just in this amount of time. So here's to what you've done in the first 30 years since the project started, and here's to seeing what happens in the next 30.